Welcome to News in Brief from RJ at Global Network. Ayatollah Shirazi met different figures. At the daily meetings of the grand jurist Ayatollah Shirazi, a number of scholars, religious, cultural, and social figures, masters of seminary school and university, and different groups of people from all over the world attended at the central office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom and met with the grand jurist in different sessions. In these meetings, the visitors gave air to their statements, advices, and guidelines of the grand jurist. Scientific Sessions at Ayatollah Shirazi's Office The first and the second round of scientific sessions hosted the big number of scholars, researchers, seminary masters, and students at Ayatollah Shirazi's central office. In these gatherings, the grand jurist Ayatollah Shirazi explains the questions and topics addressed by the attendees. It's noteworthy that following the previous years, these scientific sessions are held each night at 12 to 1 a.m. Deputies of Iraq's public uprising party visit France in Tikrit and Samara. A team of deputies of Iraq's public uprising party, including political, religious, and media activists, visited the France in cities of Samara, Tikrit, and al Ishaqi. This team also had meetings with commanders of volunteer forces and learned about their supplies and needs. Members of this community appreciated the bravery and the efforts of Iraqi volunteer forces and gave them some gifts. It is noteworthy that this team visited the shrines of Imam Hassan Askari and Imam Hari, peace be upon him, in Samara. Imam Hassan a Special Library opened in Holy Najaf. With the efforts of some religious and cultural activists, Imam Hassan Special Library was opened in the holy city of Najaf. This library, which pursues to introduce the true Islam, contains a full body of books written by the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi and his scholar predecessors. These books are now accessible to the enthusiasts. SRW condemns discrimination in United Arab Emirates. Shia Rice Watch, a human rights organization, released a message in which it condemned the escalating discriminative policies against the Shia Muslims by the UAE government. Referring to the deportation of thousands of Iraqi Shias from this country, Shia Rice Watch stated that such acts stand in direct opposition to human rights international conventions. In the end, Shia Rice Watch demanded the United Arab Emirates government to reconsider its policies and work for peaceful coexistence and social justice in this country.